The remote control I will recommend for beginners is the Flysky brand FSI 6X model. This model is not the best, but it is a very good price performance product. It has many adjustment functions. It provides the necessary functions for normal planes, delta wing planes, and drones. It has a control distance of 600 to 1000 meters. This range is sufficient. The remote control box includes a simulator connection cable. Training with a simulator is very useful for learning to fly a model airplane. The transmitter supports up to 10 channels. The receiver depends on your preference. I recommend the 6-channel FSIA 6B version receiver because 6 channels are enough for many entry-level and mid-level models. This receiver also has SBUS and IBUS support, so it can be used with drone controllers. The 2212 size motors are very suitable for beginners. The KV value can be 1400. 1400 KV provides reasonable values for both thrust force and speed. There are two popular options. The no-name one is cheap but has sufficient performance. The Emax brand is more expensive. It provides approximately 100 grams extra thrust force. For models with a wingspan between 70 centimeters and 120 centimeters, and a flight weight of no more than 600-700 grams, the 2212140 cable motor will generally be sufficient. You can get maximum thrust for 1400 kV motor with 9x5 propeller, but I recommend using 8x4 propeller because it gives much more efficient result, sufficient thrust, good speed and longer flight time. I will suggest two different servos. Both are in the microservo class. MG90 has metal gears and is a slightly stronger servo. The cheaper blue SG90 has plastic gears. You can use both. But MG90 is much more suitable for models with a wingspan of 90 to 120 centimeters. SG90 can be preferred for smaller models. For 2212 motors, a 30 amp ESC is ideal. There are many different brands and models of ESC. There are also very cheap no-name ESCs. Due to my experience, I do not recommend the yellow no-name ESC. I recommend ESCs with a brand. They are a bit more expensive, but reliable. My recommendation for the battery would be 3S 11.1 pivolithium polymer. The capacity selection for the battery depends on different conditions. The dimensions and class of the model are decisive. Because as the capacity increases, both the weight and the dimensions increase. But for 2212 motors, 1100 to 2200 milliamp hours can generally be preferred. The C value should be 20 degrees Celsius or above. You can use digital chargers for 3S LiPo batteries, but they are a bit expensive. Or entry-level affordable chargers will also suffice. It is enough if they have a balance feature. This feature is necessary to balance the voltages of the cells while charging. Thank you for watching. You can like and hype for more.